Google intro. It's a good 7.20 Monday morning. It's beautiful out here right now. Cape Town in the morning. We got our UT UCT, uh, University of Cape Town orientation. So we got some things today. I'm gonna head down to breakfast right now. So this is how breakfast works. Try mango today. Go with the banana. All right, so we've done a breakfast, um, but now we're getting the bus to head now. So we got a flip right? Yeah. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's good? What's good? No, B Law, you know what it is. I ain't gonna say all that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Why? Just because that is a good one. Whoa. Hey, what's up, Sarah? 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 University of Cape Town. It's old. It looks cool though. It's like old in a good way, like vintage, you know? Here's a view they have on the campus. Can I cut, can I get on this one? I'm cute. You look fine. You look perfectly fine. Who are you? It's a rough day. Hi, I'm Sarah. You know, I'm a junior now. Shoot, you know, I'm barely a sophomore. UT 20 and then big. We I'll live be, in the circus. I'll be graduating with y'all. I'm graduating a year early, so I'll be there with y'all. There you go. I'm, look, I might not even be graduating when I'm so let's not play these games. We at UCT, you know, we're gonna go to class. It is 8.24 in the morning, so um, I don't do 8 a.m. No, no. Oh, man. Didn't sign up for 8 a.m. It's my whole college career, so I don't know why they got me here. It's like a morning, but it's okay. Hey. That's why I didn't turn around. <laughs> okay, Malcolm, I need bro, you to Bro, this looks like 06, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say cheese? You got a rich <laughs> Oh, we got flash, dude. We got flash. What's up? There he is. How's it going? How's it What's up, brother, man? How I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, you look very fresh. Huh? Yeah. Uh, we actually like the rain because we've been waiting for this rain for quite some time now. So please bear with us and uh, save our water. Or if you can actually bring water for us as well because we really need water. I think it's important, we're here for a month, I think it's really important that we give each other grace. Yeah. And I would hope that when you all do have these conversations, they're not siloed off like this. Yeah. White folks have the race conversation with just white folks. Latino folks just have it with Latino folks. Asian folks just have it with Asian folks. Mixed people just have it mixed. Black just have it black. Because that's oftentimes the way we do it. But we have a beautiful opportunity here. Right. And we're like, damn, what does it mean to be an American in South Africa? What does it mean to, for me to think something is cheap and then to be checked by someone else? Because that might be a, a day's pay. Treat each other with respect and right. grace and not just race, right? There's all sorts of various identities and intersectional identities in here in which we can learn from. And I think you. Uh, we'll come out of it with a really fruitful experience after the month. All right, it's your time to shine, sir. Introduce yourself. Oh. Say what's going on. He wanted, he wanted me in the vlog, so I had to let him in. What's up, y'all? Malik Crowder. I'm here with the Cape Town crew from UT Austin on staff. We're having a blast. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always making people feel welcome. Hey, thank you, brother. Always. I appreciate it so much. Class is dismissed. We're going back, trying to eat something, trying to get a burger. I'm hungry. Trying to get a burger. We're back. Yeah, so it is a little clear right now. Or 
at least the rain and all that but so much stuff from that class you know so much stuff that we talked about that was just really kind of enlightening and like a lot of race and how it's viewed differently in different countries stuff we talk about back in ut and all that but like it's hard to really put your finger on because it's such a a varying topic and different case by case and for example here in south africa they go by black colored white we just did an exercise where we split up the class and many cases that can be seen as a little sensitive you know we work past that stuff the class seems really promising it was a good first day of class it was only an hour and a half but i had fun like it didn't feel like a class it felt like it was just cool and we were talking and all that stuff so I'm looking forward to it for sure. So yeah, we're pretty much dismissed, I believe, for the rest of the day. I think the move is to get some food later on after we get some rest. Everybody's going to rest real quick. The roommate's here. You going to eat right now? What's this place called? Need? So we have come into some like, what is it, bakery? Bakery, cafe called Need. So we're about to Food review need. See what's up. So me and Kiana ordered burgers. What we think are burgers in America. <laughs> and it comes out and it's missing something very essential for a burger. The, the Oh yes, ma'am. So do they not so do they not typically come with like the, the So so I said I, all I said was plain and dry basically. Uh, and it was interpreted that I meant no bread, which is cool. But this is good. We got we got roll now. Culture shock. We just finished our meal at Need. And these I, I'll go back there. It's just the food was good. It was just these places are not meant to accommodate big groups. Like that's an American thing. Like to have a big group and to be able to split that check, that is an American thing. Like I know going to ramen shops in San Antonio, they they will split it up to two ways and that's it. That's that's it, so they're not used to this big setting type thing. So yeah, I'll, I'll eat there again. It's good, it's close proximity. Uh, it's just, I'll go there with like one other person and that's it. But I'm digging it. It's all good. We got it paid for. Slept eight hours on accident. I'm kind of pissed. What happened to the buddy system, huh? Zane, the buddy system. I definitely te texted you. <laughs> you think a text is gonna wake me up? We called you. We you think you a call is gonna wake me up? My door was open, girl. Same shit until they came and beat on my door like they was. Oh, you beat it on his. But we're sitting in another country where the people don't give a f about what you call greatness. Nobody, nobody down the street is gonna be like, "Yeah, you're great because you're got your PhD." Right. The right. people are gonna be like, "I don't give a f about that. I can't eat. Like, I want to leave this place better than how I found it." I'm not even saying that this this place needs me, but for right. me, for me coming here. Basically, by me learning from these people, mm -hmm. I want to leave with a better appreciation of this yes. place. Yeah. I want to leave with like the ability to impact say. another place impact. with my appreciation from this place. Yes. Like, you don't have to do something for the people here because they're not asking for your handouts. Oh, they're asking for our money, but that's about it. Because <laughs> that's what white savior is. Right. Come in and say, no, oh, I'm going to go to Uganda problems, and yeah. help the, the little kids, and then I'm going to get out. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Exactly. Whoa. 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 That's your, that your ancestors created. Now you're gonna come in and glorify. Like I don't, I don't exactly. like exactly because they no. want, they want, um, they want a they social want media points. Posts. They want, yes, they, they want people to say, oh, you're doing something black the world. And be like, oh, yes. look at me, I'm helping here. Yeah. Oh my God. That's white savior. Bro. They create, yeah, they create like problems that, just that to be glorified. Like that problematic lady on Instagram where she wrote that horror whole paragraph. Oh, she was in Africa. I remember that. Wait, what? I hate that. Like y'all go. Hey, what's up, Dad? It's just been a long day, and like, I don't know, I haven't talked to you in a while. Well, I'd always like to hear your voice. Was the day good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what, what kind of wild things? It's gotta be a whole different world. Tell me something that's totally different. Um, huge thing would be like, when we go to, I say, restaurants, we as Americans are just loud. And like, when we go places, and people are just like trying to relax and have dinner, and then we, you just hear us. And it's interesting. Like other people are just kind of eating their food and they move on? Yeah, it's kind of like two people go to eat and they just have a quiet little 
table dinner and thankfully they put us outside today and then the other time we ate out they put us outside because we are loud and like <laughs> yeah so we're tr definitely trying to acclimate to everything uh, so then we're not and just like talking inside the hotel we're loud right now I'm probably loud it's just like it's it's different you know that makes perfect sense to me now that you're saying it I guess as an American, I would never think that way. It's just weird how we're, what we're accustomed to is not like the rest of the world. They don't, they don't beat to America's drum. You talk about national parks are one thing, going to Africa, that's another level. That, that is just, I don't know, I'm impressed and amazed, and I'm happy for you. All right, Dave. All right. Good job. I love you, buddy. All right, see you later. All right, call mom. She'll be happy to hear from you. I am. One down, one to go. Hey mom, what's up? Hey, just uh, eating a burger with mom. Yeah. Hey grandma. How are you describing what's going on? It's a, it's a lot. It is a lot of stuff and it's really cool though. Um, and it's just, I'm trying to get everything that I can and taking it the most that I can. But, and I'm like, I'm thinking sometimes I'm eager to get home because I want to see you guys, I want to see tram and all that and I miss it. But then like, I'm here and I like it's gonna go by fast because we are doing stuff, we're having fun, like we are we're in it, so absorb all of it and and just oh wow, the, the diversity and the just you know, it's very humbling. Like I when I got into Costa Rica it was nighttime, it was like ten o'clock at night and the family came to pick us up at the airport, so we immediately left anybody we even knew to go with this strange family. And then we're driving through these streets, there's twelve feet concrete walls and gates that are locked and it starts to be extremely freak like you just are freaking out mm -hmm. and i'll never forget three weeks later driving away going backwards the same way we came and instead of freaked out and fearful i was sad that i was leaving of course i want to see you guys very humbling and that's when i came home and i started getting rid of stuff wow. um, because i remember they had literally a sink about one foot wide and one foot deep that was it in their bathroom and then they had maybe two pictures on the wall that were eight by tens. That was it. Wow. That was it. And they were the happiest people I'd ever met in my life. I'm just so happy for you, and of course I miss you, but I, the experience that you're going to have there, I mean, there's so many parts to this experience, like you said. It's just truly going to be amazing. All right, honey. I love you, dear. I love you so much. I love you all, too. Okay, baby. Get your stuff done and enjoy your day. All right. Bye. Bye, honey. So I'm out in the hallway right now. It's late. So doing my final recap for tonight. But yeah, a couple things I wanted to mention from today. See, I just got off the phone with my parents. In class, they talked about this. It was literally a taxi. And there was like a shooting, like big deal, not too far from here. And this stuff goes unheard. And like, you don't hear about this stuff. Like in America, we hear about something like that because that's so like regular here. Like stuff like that happens without in a bat of the eyelash, you know? So. Like, it's just, you gotta pay attention, gotta keep your eyes open, gotta be careful. And especially when I'm holding the camera, I can't be like, I can be all ignorant with this. So it's just like learning and getting acclimated to everything. But like, I stepped back today and I like really realized over the past couple of days, I've just been, I need to be cognizant of what I'm saying because we at McDonald's. They told me it was like $4 for a meal. I said, dang, this is cheap. Malcolm pointed it out and like everybody's been pointing out and I actually do realize that at first I was trying to argue against it. I was like, that's just the way I speak. but. You do not realize the kind of impact it has. And what really got me thinking about this is not only what Malcolm says, but today in class, a girl was saying like she was over at the Botanical Gardens and she had said, um, dang, this place is cheap, similar to what I said at McDonald's. And then a lady that lived there stopped her and was like, what's cheap to you it may not be cheap to us. And like, she actually went down and sat down with that lady and talked to her. So like, already like, I'm, I'm glad nobody, I'm hoping nobody overheard me, but like that just set a great example for me to be careful of what I'm saying. And like, it's a learning experience, but we're getting there and I like it, you know. But tomorrow we have our internship, gotta get up same time. We're getting up at seven for breakfast and then we leave at 7.45. Don't know what's going on tomorrow. I'm gonna ask if I can bring my camera as of right now, I'm not going to, just to feel it out, see what's going on. But we'll, we'll see. That's what it is um, and yeah. We're, we're, we're doing things, so I'll catch y'all later.